Welcome back to Let's Talk Sports with Rick, Jack, my friend. How are you? Wonderful. Welcome. Welcome to our audience, right? Yeah, another exciting week in sports. Uh, can't wait to share our opinions and our disagreements. Uh, we have God knows we have both. Uh, we have NBA playoffs, but I'm always right, right? Uh, hey, I'm always right. I'm, I'm before not. we go any further, I owe my friend an apology. The other night we were talking about, and, and we'll talk about this more on our NBA show, but I got I to gotta get it off my mind while I'm thinking about it and give my friend props <laughs> because he's good. We're talking about the Knicks and their opportunity to get to the fourth spot, and I'm like, man, the Knicks, are, they, the Knicks are not going to do it. They're, they're not in the class that these other teams are competing with. Uh, Atlanta and Miami for the fourth spot. And he's like, well, and I'm like, yeah, you barely won. He's like, oh, a win is a win. And I'm like, oh, whatever. Anyways, New York plays hard and gets it up and wins three in a row and gets the number four spot. So congratulations to the Knicks. Thank you, sir. Yeah, very good. They did well. Anyways, we'll talk about all that on our NBA, on our NBA show, but uh, what do you think of the uh, Preakness this year? Pretty, pretty uh, easy to figure out. You had the winner, right? Yeah, I had the winner. Um, like the problem was with the, I was using the one of our local casinos here, Station Casino, and I was trying to, you know, I signed up on their app, trying to use it. You know, it's easier to bet from home, and for some reason, I was not able to, you know, do an exact box or even trifecta. Nothing. I just had to bid up basically just straight up on the winner. I had five five bucks on the winner. One sixty. You did okay. Yeah, it's all right. Twenty five dollar winner, man. But I wanted, I wanted more. Yeah, you know, but and, it, and it's so funny. That's great that you had that. And we had our other friend we called the Phantom Ken Sidley. He had the winner also. Um, I didn't have the winner. Um, I had him as part of my trifecta and superfecta, but I didn't hit it because I had uh, crowded trade who just kind of jogged around the track. Really didn't try. I was very disappointed. But for the shrewd better who really liked Rumbauer, um, Rumbauer, great, great horse, trained by Michael McCarthy, uh, Flavian Pratt, fine jockey. It was a logical horse. I didn't have it. And, and, and the race set up exactly like we thought it would. Medina Spirit would go to the lead. Midnight Bourbon would follow. They'd fight it out. And somebody, I thought it would be crowded trade, somebody would pass them in the stretch. It's exactly what happened. But this is what we It's exactly what happened. But these guys, but this is what we were expecting. Just wore each, other's out, wore each other out of the league. And I will tell you, this, this crop of three-year-olds, they are not great. There will not be an incredible, incredible stakes winner. A lot of stakes. There's no, there's no $10 million winner in this, in this crowd. I'll tell you that. There's no way. This is not a good crowd. Well, crowd. This is, this and maybe they will be at the Belmont. It's all going to be changed at the Belmont in the final. This half. is the kind of race we were expecting from the Kentucky Derby, but it didn't yeah. happen. Yeah. But anyways. Um, well, congratulations. Yeah, I won a little something. I got my money back, but I was still disappointed because, you know, it's like I felt like there was money left on the table. Um, yeah, you know, it's funny. For, for us people living in Vegas, and, and all you followers that live in Vegas or a place that you have a casino close by, I was thinking about this today. You know, to get in our car and to drive the five minutes to the casino and get all the bets in you want, to do everything you want, to find some point in your Friday or Saturday to get it done before the race, just get up and do it. We get lazy. I did the same thing. You know, I had a problem with my betting app, and uh, I didn't get in all the bets I wanted. I should be getting up and going to the casino that isn't that far away. People that can't get to the casino, these sports apps are great. But, but other people who live in Las Vegas, we have no excuse. But this is what I no did. Excuse for not but this is what I did. And How then, close is the casino next to your house? I have. I got one five minutes away. I have. I have several. Okay. Around me. So but lesson I, learned for the Belmont: get in your car and go bet. I did, but then the lady. Um, you know, basically convinced me to use their app there to have a little promotion going. Yeah, well, because she got 10 bucks for everybody she convinced I, me. That and guess what? Listen, you're supposed to be a gambler. I did turn anyway. to gamble, and I gambled on a sports app, and I lost on it. Listen, if you guys want to go to a sports app and bet a great sports app, go to Fanwagon. They're great over there. You can bet anything you want. Uh, I think they're up to $1,000, isn't it? You can bet up to 1000 with them on a bet, but... That's fun because you play against your friends. They, their promotion is different. Um, if Jack and I want to bet, I say I want Crowded Trade to win, and he wanted Rumbauer, we bet $1,000 uh, at Fan Wagon, and he wins $1,000. You get a, uh, a, a spending card, and, you know, a card that you can take and, you know, get the money on. 
So check out Fan Wagon. Those guys are good. All these other sports apps, they're taking way too much of your money. I use the sports app and I was telling Jack, they take seven fifty every time I put in every for every hundred bucks. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I need to get in the car and, and go to the casino. So plus the atmosphere of the casino for us here in Vegas. Yeah, is, you is know, you have a libation and you know a, a hot dog and a couple cocktails. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And so for us, we got no excuse. Some yeah. people can't get there. There's no casino nearby. So you know, if, if you're gambling and you want to have some fun with your friends, use the guys at Fan Wagon. I, I do recommend that app. I don't really recommend any other apps. I really don't. If you live near a casino, if you don't live near a casino, find the best app. But Enough of that for right now. Let's let's talk about hockey. Hockey is in full swing in the playoffs, and I'm seeing a lot of competitive hockey right now. I, I can't figure out who the winner's going to be because I've seen four or five teams that are really, really good in the West and the East. Who do you like? Who do you like in this hockey playoff? Great turn. Right now, I have a couple favorites. Um, I like the Islanders. Do I think they're going to go far? No. But can they win this series against Pittsburgh? Absolutely. Carolina is, series. Carolina is my dark, dark horse. And I say dark horse because you have Florida and Tampa Bay. That's, that's just, it's a crazy series. And I think one of the, the winners out of that probably is going to um, go very far. Then we have. Did, our, didn't Carolina lose it to uh, St. Louis last night? Yeah, but. But what? It's you know what? That's very competitive. Great. St. Louis is not a bad team. It's People true. think automatically that Carolina's going to beat St. Louis. I don't know that for to be a fact, man. But I just think Carolina is the better team. Okay. Then we have the Avalanche. The Avalanche. Ooh, they look powerful. They score machine. They were scoring at the end of the season, and guess what? It hasn't stopped. Four goals their last game. They look great last game. Like they. Basically, if it's a shot on goal, it probably is going to go in with them. So, and I feel that they're, they're good contenders to, for the Cup. Um, I'm not too sure about the, the Golden Knights. Right now, I think Minnesota has their number. They had, their, they had their numbers um, during the season. That's the only team that basically they did not have a winning record with throughout the, um, the season. And right now, here they are. They can't get anything in the – in that net. The Wild are um, a good team, man. Yeah, they have this. That's a very good hockey team right there. They have this rookie sensation. Um, I'm probably going to mess up his name, but I'm. But please forgive me. It's, uh, I want to say it's like Capri Song. Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Um, but he is very, phenomenal. Very, very, very and good. they are so protective of him. You can't even, you can't even check him. Like that's how the, the other team, the, his other teammates are all over you. You, you go near him. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see if Brian Brian Reeves can uh, put a few hits on him. Tampa looks good. Tampa looks good, and that's because their two two of their main guys are actually back they're there. Healthy. They're they're uh, out for the season now. They're back. Um, so I think they can really want to run. I think that's game that that series is actually going to go seven games. Um, the yeah. Boston series maybe six. Uh, even Edmonton and the Jets. That's a six game series. Washington. I, They're one one in the series. Yeah, but I think Boston's going to take that. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think that's going to be a very close series. I haven't seen a mismatch in any of any of the games. No, before. every matchup is a key matchup. Like look, you look at a St. Louis, who's a number four seed. St. Louis could win the whole thing. They didn't. They had a nice winning record this year. They they they're not like a bad team, and it's like it's not like the NBA where you got a bunch of bad teams playing. You got all good teams in the hockey playoffs. It's so competitive and exciting. I hope you're all watching it and betting on it and, you know, following your favorite team. It's, it's a lot of fun right now. You know, it's – Every team that made, that made it to the playoffs are basically Stanley, Stanley Cup contenders. Yes, good, they, they, good, good they, they, they play with, They're playing with intense. They're playing with heart. Um, every, every possession of that puck matters, and you can see it. It's not – it's not sloppy hockey. They are playing their butts off. Oh, and I playing so hard. It's what's great, you know. And as you know, in the NBA, and again, we'll have our NBA show later. And I, I know you're looking forward to seeing what we think about the playoffs. But man, they play hard. They play really. It's impressive how hard and how driven these teams are in hockey playoffs. It's a pleasure to watch. It, it's not like watching, you know, some other type of sport where half the people aren't even trying. Yeah. They, everybody tries in this tournament, and it's awesome. And I hope we get that in the NBA. But 
I, who, who, who do you have? Who do you have for the Stanley Cup? Um, it's it's tough, but give me a couple. Like I said, I like the Islanders. Um, I do like Carolina. Either anybody that comes out of uh, the, the Florida Tampa Bay series. Tough. And right now, I don't have any. Um, the Golden Knights, I, I don't have confidence with them with my, uh, Minnesota right now. So um, Minnesota looks really good. I think they, can, steal, they, they can steal it. Um, Knights will be back. Uh, we'll see. Knights will be back. Knights win tonight. They play tonight, right? Yes. Tuesday night. Yeah. That's 7 o'clock. Yeah. So I know you'll be watching it. Absolutely. You'll be lined up with the family. Yeah. With a couple um, couple cold ones. With a couple cold ones, and you'll be uh, hooting in a holler, and I know that. Yeah. Hopefully you're winning, you can have a good night's sleep and not be restless with the, the night's going hell. Right? Yeah, hopefully by the end of the night, my friend, my go. friend Jack is a big night's fan and you know, being here in Vegas, it's, it's fun because everybody loves all the sports. Talking about sports in Las Vegas, the WNBA started. Yeah. And uh, you know, we had a rematch of the championship, our, our Las Vegas Aces versus Seattle Storm. And first game of the year, Storm put it to him. The, the, the storm, storm put it to them, man. The, the storm uh, picked up right, right where they left off last season. Oh, where they, they showed their dominance, and man, that team looks unbelievable. It looked like they might they might repeat this year. Oh, not, not discrediting it, you know. Hey, it's one game. It's it's the uh, first game of the season for our aces, but they look good. The, the storm, storm looked good. They got dominated. Well, you know, they got a great leader in Sue Bird. She's won four titles. I mean, multiple all WNBA. Sue Bird is a great leader, and they've got a couple of players on that team now that are just really good. And I think they're going to be tough to beat. You know, you got a Chicago looked good. Candace Parker's in Chicago. She left the LA Spark and wanted to go home, where you know, you know, where she is from, Chicago area, and play for Chicago. What a leader! She looked great the other night. Uh, you know. Over in New York, they're playing very good. Uh, Inesco's back, you know, that great star from Oregon. A she liberty. hit a three-pointer. I'm watching the first game. I don't know if you saw it. She, the game is, you know, they're down one or tied. It was very close. In the last second, she takes a three and hits it, and they win. Uh, that was thrilling. And, you know, she, uh, of course, gave it all up for Kobe Bryant. Uh, Vanessa Bryant had actually sent her a pair of shoes, uh, a Kobe model, a model of shoe, and she said uh, – you know, wear these shoes in your first game and glide tonight. Don't mess it up. <laughs> Great story. And uh, she, of course, spoke at uh, Kobe's memorial. And uh, this young lady, I mean, had a career, 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 unbelievable career, career at Oregon. Uh, all, all the scoring records, and now she's doing it in the WNBA. And I don't know if you all know, she only played three games last year. She tore her knee up and tore her ankle up, had a real bad ankle injury. And uh, she's back, and she looks great. New York's playing good. So, you know, I'm a WNBA fan, and I support it. And uh, there are a bunch of awesome women that, you know, they support a lot of different things that are going on in the world and Black Lives Matter and a lot of that stuff. So kudos to the WNBA. And if you get a chance, watch them. I don't bet on the WNBA. I just enjoy watching them. You, you watch WNBA? Yeah, I watch them because I want to – it's a it's a sport that I feel that we need to support more um, in the sense where it's another avenue for – you know, the, the, the fine young women that we're raising, especially us as dads, yeah, that's, that's, that's another avenue for them if they choose to go with that. You know, not necessarily in playing the sport, but, you know, maybe one day being an executive in that sport. Uh, it's just another, it's another avenue. And, you know, if we don't support it right now, in fact, this is their 25th year anniversary of the creation of it. Um, so I support it because I want to see it being around for another 100 years or more, you know. Yeah. So, so, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of active, great young ladies there that um, really support their communities and support, um, you know, those who have passed on, like Brianna Taylor. That's one of their, their big subjects. But uh, and, the NBA is really and nice. These, I and like, the, I, I like their attitude. It's these really women great play attitude. for, they, they play with passion, so much passion. Because, I, really and, and I'm going to tell you that it, it, they don't, they're not making N, NBA money. They're making. WNBA money, where you're looking at maybe $60,000 a year where you're not home, but just taking care of your home. Yeah. And you're taking, you know, some of these ladies yeah. are mothers and all that. Yeah. So, you know, trying to take care of their kids while they're on the road and doing all yeah. that stuff. But guess what? Um, they're doing it and they're, what they want is to make the sport more popular and better. And it takes people like you and myself to promote it and keep it going. And, you know, for you guys to view it, just like you're viewing our show. And kudos to everybody that's supporting them. Yeah. Uh, it's great, but the bounce, not to bounce around too much, but I wanted to go back to horse racing for a moment. 
Bob Baffert. Bob Baffert, what do you think? I mean, uh, uh, he got as what? you might know, Belmont decided that Bob Baffert won't be racing any of his horses there. I think they are thinking that the, that second test at the Kentucky Derby uh, is going to come back uh, that they did cheat. And, uh, but the horse passed the test to run in the Preakness, um, Medina Spirit. But they have banned Bob. They didn't say for how long, but at least temporarily from racing at Belmont. Um, you think it's you think it's justified? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the, the thing is, like you know, as you know, and we've had conversation about the sports and throughout the history of, you know, quite a few trainers have been caught cheating, and basically sometimes what they do is they uh, they they they, they truck that uh that that line whether or not, and he did a lot of them do it. He, he did right now, and he's just hey, you pay the consequence. It's called accountability. At the end of the day, um, you know. That substance is a banned substance. You still use use it to treat your horse. Then guess what? You just get suffer the repercussion of it. Let's move on. Hopefully, you learn your lesson. But you didn't. This is not your first time. And let's move on. Let's let's yeah. let, let's focus on the horses that did what they're supposed to do. The trainers that did what they're supposed to do. Um, and let's focus on on the next race. Yeah, you know the third leg of the Triple Crown. Of course, we're not going to have it from um, this year. But the Belmont Mile and a Half. It's going to be a bunch of different horses. I, I would, I, I believe Rumbauer will run, but it's tough to get a mile. It's a whole different race. And I, I think somebody that we don't suspect at this moment is going to win that race. But it'll be well, fun. It's in three weeks. It's not like the Preakness two weeks after the Kentucky Derby. It's in three weeks. Keep your eyes open. See what happens with that. We have those, we have those crazy, two, those two horses that didn't run um, in this one from uh, the other famous trainer. Brad Cox. Brad Cox. Brad Cox, yes. two horses didn't. Didn't run in, and I think they, they may um, they may take that third leg. Yeah, we'll see. They rest in essential quality. I still think is is probably that crop of best horse. Um, again, he had a terrible trip in the Kentucky Derby. He still got in there for third. Um, essential quality, I believe, is the best horse in the three year old crop. Rumbauer, yeah, one did pretty well. Um, looked good. Good trainer, Mike McCarthy used to train for Todd Fletcher, so he's well he's well versed in the game. When you when you work for Todd Fletcher and you go out and do your own thing. Um, kudos to Mike McCarthy. He's a good guy, Southern California trainer. I don't know how much of you uh, know him or bet on him, but when he runs in Southern California, look at his horses, and generally they're going to be very competitive. So that's a good betting angle when when you're betting on horses from uh, Santa Anita or Del Mar or Los Alamitos. Look for Mike McCarthy horses. He, he's a very good trainer and a very humble guy. And of course, Flavian Pratt is one of the best jockeys in the world. Um, we know he's one of the fittest jockeys in the world. He has a renowned uh, training program. Uh, he really trains hard, and it shows the strength. Those jockeys are so strong, but continue to enjoy it. Let's talk a little Major League Baseball. I mean, there are some teams that are really starting to separate themselves from the field and play really well. Um, your Mets are really picking it up. You must be happy you've got the Knicks going, and now the Mets are starting to play good ball. They've been winning games. Yeah, they've been winning games. They're over five hundred right yeah, now. Yeah, it, um, it took them a minute, but the Mets are playing yeah. ball. But but when I look at when I look in comparison to where they're at and where everyone um, else is at leading their division, they only have nineteen wins. Whereas you have the A's surprise, yeah, twenty five wins. Particularly since they lost what the first twelve, or yeah. whatever it was, first look, seven. Look at San Francisco. The Giants are my team this year. That is a sweetheart of a team. Uh, I, I mean. They are playing great baseball. They lead the division. But the Dodgers are in third place. But the Dodgers are playing average baseball. No, average but, baseball. But listen, the, the Dodgers got a lot of injuries. So. It's there, despite everything, and of course the Dodgers just picked up on Pujols. Yeah, yeah. played so, first so, base and had a hit, couple hits, RBI last night. Sometimes you just, just for Albert. Some for Albert. Albert. This team may give him the spark that he needs to rejuvenate, and now he needs to, He wants to stick it to the the Angels. Um, of course. So I can see him uh, performing and, and giving the, the Dodgers a spark, too, you know, uh, with his years of experience, too, with all the, the young hitters that's, that's on the team. I think this, is, this, this was a great pickup for them. And not to mention, L.A. is only paying, well, the Dodgers only paying $400,000 of his salary. Yeah, it's a nice pickup. It's a nice pickup where the Angels... You know, and he doesn't. Have, he can sleep in his bed. He doesn't have to leave town. He can yeah, well, he got to drive minutes, a little further to Dodgers. 40, Stadium, Forty minutes, but uh, uh, that's, a, that's that's a great that's a great signing for them. And, you know, but I was thinking about Pujols. He signs with the Dodgers. 
Think of the years of knowledge that he brings to that team. Think of the inspiration he brings to that team. So they got him for much more than his bat. He brings a great persona for the locker room. And, you know, Albert Pujols is a real man. He's a man's man. And he's had a great career. And good luck with the Dodgers, Albert. Good luck with the Dodgers. But, um, and, you know, who else is playing good besides the Giants? San Diego. Is. Second place. So that the one game behind the Giants. And it's and it's based and it's based on one extra loss. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, so, yeah. so they're another twenty five win team in that division. Yeah. Another another um, tough division is the uh, with is that the AL East with Boston, New York, uh, yeah, who yeah, else are T- Tampa Bay. The only team Those that's the, the only team that's not doing well is Baltimore. Yeah, but that division is and tough. Miami's not doing very well. Baltimore's terrible. But that's but that's it. Yeah, those guys. I mean, the Yankees again. Stanton is hurt again. I mean, that guy gets hurt every year, and he always hurts his legs. The quad injury. He's on the IL now. I think. And, I, and now Stanton's out, and it really hurts because he's been playing good ball for the game. I think that ha- that comes when you have players that's injured like that. It all comes down to um, every the, year he's hurt. The, there's, there's there's strength and conditioning coach, and um, I saw that a lot when it came to the Mets and their their pitching coach was not the best because they kept on all their, their top pitchers kept on getting hurt. And I'm like, when are we going to replace this guy or re- replace the, the routine? Like how, how am I just a regular fan that sees that this is an issue and all the executives don't see like, Hey, um, something's wrong here. We're paying all these, our, our prominent pitchers, all this money or, and they're getting, our pitchers are getting injured. They fired their batting coach because, the, Chili because, Davis. because they're back. And they were like, what? Yeah, and it's like, anyway, they've been playing pretty good ball. You know who's playing good ball in the National League is uh, St. Louis. They're formidable. Atlanta hasn't taken off yet. Atlanta's having a but, very weak year right but now. But Atlanta's in the in number two spot. On a, they, they actually have more wins than the Mets at 21, but it's just that their winning percentage is lower. That's why the yeah. Mets are in the uh, in first more, place. I expect more from Atlanta. That's, that's a quality team. Um, but San Francisco and San Diego, man, they've been a great story. The, the Sox, too. The uh, White Sox the are White playing Sox. good ball. I was surprised. The White Sox are really, really playing better than they have in years. Of course, the Red Sox are playing good ball. So, you know, Oakland, in, in, in the East and the West, there's three or four great teams. The Dodgers are, you know, close to 500. I mean, but they got the injuries. They're, now Seager's hurt. They're, they're too, Seager got hurt. But they're two, he's out for the Dodgers are only two games behind first. Yeah. So they have, they have 23 wins. So um, it's only 40 games, 42 games, whatever it is. So, you know, it's, it's, we got a lot of baseball left. The Dodgers will be there. I don't know if the, but it's, the but Giants it's, will falter. I don't know if the Padres will falter. I hope not. But I'd like to see them all three of them battle. But right now, I'm usually saying it's early in the season. It's early in the season. And I'm not too excited. Right now, I'm excited, even though it's early in the season. Well, yeah, because I, I, see so, I see some stuff developing, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I can start um, watching trends and, and putting a few discretionary coins on a couple teams. Yeah. Why not? I mean, there, there are some teams that are playing good ball, which pitching is still dominating. Absolutely. But the home runs that are being hit are just moonshots. I mean, there's some, been some long you, home runs. Did you see the, um, the, the pitch last night that, that, that broke the Mets? Uh, Hitters, uh, the book. Terrible. I saw the blood gushing. Terrible, like, terrible hit. Oh my God, that was. Yeah, I, I didn't like it. That's a bad thing about baseball. Hundred mile an hour fastball hits you in the face. Well, what's a ball gets hit at you? A pitcher, these pitchers get hit by the uh, uh, hit ball. Oh my God. It's just well, what going I going so fast. I what was unfortunate too is it makes me shudder. when you look at the pitcher, and you know that. He did not do, do that intentionally. No, you, you know, saw his, the look on his face of, of like, oh uh, my God. He was sick to his Absolutely. And, and I hate to see it, but uh, you know, I, I know all of you, a lot of you saw. It. There's a lot of sports fans here, uh, so keep watching Major League Baseball. Get some bets in. Uh, continue to understand the trends, as Jack says. There's a lot of trends in baseball that are, um, you know, that are coming out now. So follow it. Um, you know, keep, keep your eye on some of the other things that are happening. Um, horse racing is in full swing around the country. It's fun if you like to bet on horses. Uh, also, we got the uh, big golf match coming up, another major players championship this week. Um, anybody you'd like to win it? I think uh, maybe uh, 
my my favorite right now, Bichambo. I think he'll. Um, He's been he, a little fault. I, but but I think this last tournament, the FedEx tournament, um, kind of I think he maybe gave him a little wake up call, and he he played hard those last two days after finding finding out that he made the cut. You know, after the, his little yeah, uh, last week football. That was what it, um, but then those Saturday and Sunday he played hard and he he ended up you know in the top ten. So I think that may be a little he's gonna take advantage of the the way he's playing right now and playing that that style of golf. Yeah. I know every course is different and you're always playing against yourself in the course. Yeah, a lot of big boys are playing in this one and then you know last few weeks a lot of them been haven't been in it but uh I kind of like Xander Shoffley. That guy's always close. So he's a Southern California kid. Uh, I, I, I'm also looking at Justin Rose to have a big tournament. Spieth has been playing well. So, but yes. I'm, I'm going to say uh, Xander Shoffley. That's my guy. I, and I think the odds are pretty good and you can make some money. I'm, so if, if you're interested in this big golf weekend, it's fun. I, you know, I watch these majors. It's a lot, a lot of fun. But uh, And all the good golfers come out. I, I really like Justin Rose and Xander Shoffley. But uh, I think those guys are going to be right there. Uh, Thomas is always there. He plays very, very well, but it'll be fun. Do you watch, do you watch these tournaments? Do you watch them? I, I usually catch it sun, Saturday or Sunday. Um, the first couple of days, not so much, especially right now where we have playoff uh, hockey, basketball. And oh, we got so much going on basketball right now. So, so I'm usually catching it on, uh, on Sunday, and that's usually after my kid plays football. On yeah, you're busy with the football. Thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, working on that. Uh, they won the trophy winner. Well, <laughs> um, I don't. I don't want him to win the Heisman. Heisman. I don't want him to win the Heisman. The Heisman is a curse. Okay. Well, <laughs> listen, listen. You want me to adopt him, and I'll let it be okay with me when he wins the Heisman. <laughs> anyway, is there anything else you want to talk about? I mean, it, it, these shows are lively and quick, and there's more we could talk about. We try to keep them within 30 minutes. Again, we want to thank you all for watching and following us, and liking us, and and, and looking at us at WWDB TV and YouTube and Roku and Apple TV, we thank you very, very much for following us and liking us. Uh, again, I wanted to promote in, in our guys over there at Fan Wagon. That's a great betting site. Those are good guys over there. Uh, the two principals are, you know, uh, Dexter and Chris are the guys that uh, own that company. And they're good friends of ours. They, they're really involved in our show. They like uh, having all of their people watch our shows and they share, they share it with their audience. But we, want, we always want to promote those guys and Fan Wagon. If you want a betting app, look at it. Go look at it. Any more you want to add? I uh, just want to say uh, thank you guys for also supporting our other uh, content creators. You know, uh, this week we have uh, WTF America that uh, just uh, posted a video this week. And thank you for supporting, uh, also supporting Christina with her shows. You know, yes. that's um, her shows, you know, basically they're, they're helping our veterans, you know, veterans like myself. Yeah, you know, Christina's got a great show. And I love it. And, you know, thank you guys for supporting her and supporting us too. Love it. Great point. Thank you for, thank you for saying that. And sometimes we're a bit remiss. We get into our own shows, but we always want to promote everything that's going on at WWDB TV. You know, they've got a, they've got a great guy over there, John Stiles, who produces all the shows. And John's got a couple of shows of himself with veterans. And um, he's got a very, very couple of good shows. So, Watch those people over there, WWDB TV and all the other outlets that we're on. Um, we thank them for what they do for us. We have some great shows. We thank them for the promotions and uh, look for us in the future. We, we actually have a new studio that's being constructed. We're gonna be in a new TV studio in a couple of weeks. And uh, Mr. Stiles has been responsible for getting us in there and making that happen. So we'll, we'll have more about that, but thanks for watching. Look for our NBA show. We thank you for being viewers and liking us. and. We look forward to talking to you soon. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you and God bless.